Okay, so 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 I spoke last week at our company away day in front of I don't know, 12, 13, 14 people, something like that. That that does not challenge me in any way, shape, or form. I actually quite enjoy it. I just <laughs> like the sound of my own voice. Um, as, as as many people have said to me, <laughs> no, that's not to necessarily me. So is it just a case of building up the numbers of people you speak to? Because you know, you know, fifteen is fine. Fifty would scare the living crap out of me. Yeah, I think it's all about how you label it in your head. So on right. that that team day, for example, you probably viewed that as, oh, I'm talking to my team. I'm yeah. chatting to my team. And maybe it wasn't, a, oh, I'm doing a formal presentation to my team. You know, okay. just changing how you see it makes a big difference. I was speaking to a, a, video, a, a video expert yesterday, and he has a huge problem with getting clients to take videos. Because as soon as you put a phone in someone's face, yeah. they're like, oh, yeah. I, I can't do that, right? So what he says is, we're, we're not going to do videos today. We're just going to have a chat. And yeah. so he has a chat with people and he just so happens to film them as they're doing so. And what happens by the end? Well, you have videos. So often just reframing how you see it makes a big difference. And I would imagine, Brian, that for that situation with your team, I'm speaking to my team. And then yeah. for the 50 people, oh, I'm doing a presentation. Yeah. And the word presentation has other connotations, which might make you, you seize up a little bit and, and uh, you know, um, hurt your your mindset going into the situation. Does that make sense? It does, actually. And actually, it, 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 there's another point there, actually, because I did a couple of videos on oh, last Thursday, I think it was, for LinkedIn, okay? Mm -hmm. And I do, I do them, you know, kind of weekly or two weekly for... Um, and <clears throat> one of the things I decided to do this time was I decided to you do it in an interview style Mm -hmm. where I was not looking at the camera. I was looking at a, a another person. Yeah, so sort of like a side on you like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and and that was, it was just a chat. Like, this is a chat, yeah? Yeah. Um, but then the guy doing the video said, you know, we're coming in the new year. Why don't you do a piece to camera to say, this is the LinkedIn stuff I'm going to be doing this year? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, an hour later, we were still trying to record the damn thing, you know? Yeah. So it is it is definitely a mindset thing. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. And even, even what we're doing right now, we all three of us, we're, we're speaking to camera, right? Yeah. We are actually talking to a camera, but it feels like we're talking to each other because yeah. we are, right? But if, yeah. if we just take you away and I look at my camera, it, it creates a different feeling in my head. So you've yeah. always got to see the camera as a person in yeah. this situation. That's how you do with, with video. And when it comes to presentations, instead of seeing it as a presentation, see it as a conversation with right. the audience, right? So okay. it's just reframing it, which makes a difference going in. Okay. And I have to mention 